we're headed to Devil's Well. It's a little rocky getting up this. No pavement on this one. Yeah, it's uh, it's not paved, but it's not too bad. We're you know in a little Ford Mustang, and so we're gonna take it really slow. Okay, this is as far as the little red would make it. So now, walk-in visitors. No vehicles beyond this point. And this is the way we go back to whatever's back in the Devil's Well. Okay, here we are at Devil's Well. This was an early research team that was lowered down but there's a 17 foot canoe down in there there's no way out but this way and so it's basically a big underground lake as you can see by this schematic we're standing right on the edge right here and right down there is the sinkhole. Let's check it out. It's a famous painter, Thomas Hart Benton, spent time floating and fishing in the Ozarks. Okay, so now we are walking down this wooden staircase to go down and look in this sinkhole called the Devil's Well. Wow. There it is. I could I saw a glimpse of it. Still got a ways to go. I'm glad they built the stairs. This makes it a little easier. So the lake is right down there. Okay, I'm gonna hold my camera as good as I can um, and stick it through the gate. So wish me luck on this. Oh, it's the wrong one. Like 
And if you have the gumption, you can take a 4.6 mile hike down to Cave Spring, which spills into the current river. But we'll save that for another day. So if you wanted to bring a picnic lunch, they do have barbecue grills, picnic tables for day use. And so overall, I'm glad we came and saw it. I've never seen anything quite like that. What's cool is the Ozark National Scenic Riverways has all sorts of special events all year long. So be sure and check the schedule. Amazing Devil's Well.